As always, hi my lovely students. In today's video, we have a listening lesson, which is on page 70 in the workbook. Please open page 70 in your workbook so that we can start. The first exercise we have is uh, listening to a tape. There are three conversations, and then we'll answer the questions underneath each one of them. Let's start listening. Conversation one. So, do you have any plans for summer vacation? Not really. Well, I think we're going on vacation somewhere. So are we. My parents have booked a camping trip in Canada. Camping? Really? That's terrible. I really don't like camping. Neither do I. And that's the problem. I told them I didn't want to go camping in Canada, but it didn't make any difference. Sometimes I just can't talk to my parents. Neither can I. I mean, to my parents. Now that we have listened to the first conversation, we are going to look at the questions here. The first question. Does the girl like camping? No, she doesn't. Two. Does the boy like camping? He doesn't either. Three. Where is the boy's family going camping? In Canada. Four. Who can't talk to their parents, the boy, the girl, or both of them? Well, unfortunately, it's both of them. Let's listen to the second conversation. Conversation two. Are you going anywhere in the summer? Any plans? No, I don't think so. Well, I mean, I don't know yet. My dad has some problems at work, so I think maybe we'll have to wait and see. Is there anywhere you'd like to go? Anything you'd like to do? Well, you know me. I just want to go to a beach somewhere. I just love being at the beach. Oh, so do I. Sunshine, sand, warm water. It's the best. Oh, stop. It's raining outside and you're talking about the beach. Well, you started it, not me. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. It's just that I hate rain and I haven't been to the beach for two years. So now let's look at the questions underneath conversation two. Five. Why doesn't the girl know about her summer plans? Because her father is having problems at work. Six. Does the girl like being on a beach? Yes, she does. Seven. Does the boy like being on a beach? Yes, he does, too. Eight. What's the weather like while they're talking? It is raining outside. Nine. When was the last time the girl was on a beach? Two years ago. Now for the third conversation and the last one. Conversation 3 So, it's almost summer. I really don't like summer vacation. Are you crazy? I love it. No school. Time to relax. Time for, well, for me. I'm going to spend the summer studying. Well, some of the time anyway. I'm not. I'm going to get up at 10 o'clock every day and watch TV until midnight. My parents don't let me do that. Well... Neither do mine. But you know, you can always dream. <laughs> yes, and I can dream that all my studying helps me get to medical school. Oh, that's right. You want to be a doctor. I almost forgot. Look, I can help you study if you want. Well, thanks. I'll call you. Now let's look at the questions. 10. Who doesn't like summer vacation? The boy or the girl? It is the girl. The weird one. 11. What are the three best things for the boy about summer vacation? No school, time to relax, and time for himself. 12. What is the girl going to do during vacation? She is going to study. 13. What time does the boy want to get up during vacation? 10 in the morning. 14. Who can stay up until midnight watching TV? The boy, the girl, or neither of them. It is neither of them. 15. 
What does the boy offer to help the girl with? He offers to help her with her studying. Now let's move to the dialogue here. We had listened to it and do it together. Conversation 1 So, do you have any plans for summer vacation? Not really. Well, I think we're going on vacation somewhere. So are we. My parents have booked a camping trip in Canada. Camping? Really? That's terrible. I really don't like camping. Neither do I. And that's the problem. I told them I didn't want to go camping in Canada, but it didn't make any difference. Sometimes I just can't talk to my parents. Neither can I. I mean, to my parents. Conversation 2 Are you going anywhere in the summer? Any plans? No, I don't think so. Well, I mean, I don't know yet. My dad has some problems at work, so I think maybe we'll have to wait and see. Is there anywhere you'd like to go? Anything you'd like to do? Well, you know me. I just want to go to a beach somewhere. I just love being at the beach. Oh, so do I. Sunshine, sand, warm water. It's the best. Oh, stop. It's raining outside and you're talking about the beach. Well, you started it, not me. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. It's just that I hate rain, and I haven't been to the beach for two years. Conversation 3 So, it's almost summer. I really don't like summer vacation. Are you crazy? I love it. No school. Time to relax. Time for, well, for me. I'm going to spend the summer studying. Well, some of the time, anyway. I'm not. I'm going to get up at 10 o'clock every day and watch TV until midnight. My parents don't let me do that. Well, neither do mine. But you know, you can always dream. <laughs> yes, and I can dream that all my studying helps me get to medical school. Oh, that's right. You want to be a doctor. I almost forgot. Let's check our answers. Yes. So these are the answers to this exercise. Now let's move for phrases for fluency. This is the compilation for the previous video that we talked about phrases for fluency in. Well, I hope by now you'll be able to do this exercise on your own, but we'll do it together anyway. So this is a conversation between two people, Greg and Joe. So we'll start with a sentence uh, or a line from Greg, then Joe responds, and then Greg and then Joe and so on. First, Greg, hey Joe, have you heard there isn't going to be a test tomorrow? This is obviously a good news. So Joe is going to respond, thank goodness. Because Greg is telling him a good news for him. I was worried about that test because I really wasn't ready for it. Now, if you look at Greg's lines, one of them is repeating what Joe just said. In other words, you haven't studied for it because here he said, I really wasn't ready for it. It is the same way as saying that he hasn't studied for it. Then he continues, you know, I spent five hours last night studying. Then Joe is going to comment on these, on this sentence here, the five hours. So he said five hours, that's a shame. I think you've wasted your time. Joe is saying something that Greg might object on. So here he says, no, I don't think so. He doesn't think. He says, I think you wasted your time, but Joe doesn't think so. We have the same verb here. This is what helped us. There is nothing wrong with studying. Then he continues trying to convince Joe that studying is good. Joe says, maybe not. So he's starting to be convinced with what Greg is saying. Well, look, I've got to go. I'm taking Lola out tonight. He mentioned the name Lola. So he said, Greg says, Lucky you. I think Lucy is a really nice girl. 
So Lucy here is Lola that Joe is referring to. The last thing Greg said was, I think Lucy is a really nice girl. So Joe is agreeing with him. He says, so do I. I think I'll take her to the movies. What do you say? He's asking for Greg's opinion. He says, yes, that's a good plan. She loves movies. So this is the right order for the lines. And this is how the conversation goes. The last thing we're doing here, which is also regarding phrases for fluency, is that we're going to do this exercise, which must be a revision for you for these phrases. 1. A. I had an accident yesterday, but I wasn't hurt, thank goodness. B. O. The last time I had an accident, I broke my arm. So A is telling B good news that although he had an accident yesterday, but he wasn't hurt. B says that when he had an accident, he broke his arm. So he thinks A was lucky. So he says, lucky you. Two, A, thanks for the invitation, but I've got another party that night. So you can't come. He is paraphrasing what A just said. So when you paraphrase things, or when you say things using your own words, we use in other words. Well, I really wanted you to be there. So that's something sad, something he didn't expect. So we use, that's a shame. 3. A. I think my hair looks strange this way. Then the phrase and a question mark. The only phrase that we use a question mark for after it is, what do you say? We want to know the opinion of the person we're speaking to. B says, no, it looks fine. It, honestly. So we use, there's nothing wrong with it. Because A thinks it looks strange. So there is something wrong with it. But B is saying, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks fine. So this is the right way we'll do this last exercise. That was everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one too. Thank you for watching and thank you for the time you spent studying English. I really appreciate your efforts. I love each of you guys. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all enjoying your quarantine. And I really hope you use your time well. Thank you. See you in the next one.